The Four Corners region between Utah, Colorado, Arizona, and New Mexico is one of my favorite destinations. This trip I visit two lesser known camping spots, Black Canyon in Colorado and Angel Peak in New Mexico. It's a big change coming down from the high elevations of the Colorado Rockies to the drier climate of the desert. Black Canyon of the Gunnison National Park is just east of Montrose. Take Highway 50 to Side Road 347, which goes right into the south entrance of the park. But finding free camping was a little bit of a challenge. Hello. How are you doing? Not too bad. Do you know yeah. where, Do you know where the BLM camping is? Yeah, it's, so you passed it. Oh. Okay, so you're going to do a U-turn. Yeah. And you're going to go down about two miles, and you're going to enter into, you went through an S-curve. The S-curve is the key, as the dirt road is hidden by a bank. I missed it twice until I swung back and found it the third time. There is camping right on this flat area, but I wanted a more intimate location. Yes, it's a little bumpy, best suited for small campers and vans, but I've had a lot worse. and bushes scraping the side, well that just helps take the mud off. Well I'm supposed to be taking a shower, but I was noticing I was having problems opening and closing the trailer door, so I had to investigate. So what I did, is I ripped off that piece of aluminum that says watch your step and sure enough what has happened between the flooring and this cheap particle board moisture had got in so what I'm gonna do is uh, first let it dry which is no problem because I'm in a hot desert it's not gonna take long at all and then I'm gonna shave some of that back now no point in trying to put that back on but I did go to Home Depot and picked up some three-quarter inch uh, uh, angle aluminum and so I'll cut that and put that in place instead but more importantly I gotta seal the hell out of this so I'm just gonna use 100% silicone but let's let it dry first and then I'll finish up later on well some of you might have said why not use contact cement and contact cement would probably give really good adhesion but I'm really concerned about seal so I'm gonna try clamping this down I mean if it doesn't work silicone is really easy to get off but I think it will and I'm just gonna nuke those corners because that's the worst part for moisture to get in are those corners okay and yes, I do travel with a couple of clamps. Don't leave home without it. Well, it's been a couple of hours and I did have my shower, which is good but I think the silicone should have been set by now so let's remove the clamps now this would be really silly if I get this far and the door doesn't shut I'd be sort of caught with my pants down kind of thing but let's give it a go works perfect but it does show me something that when I did that video and I removed that lip um, I should have just removed the whole piece of aluminum and started over again and uh, because I used epoxy it might not have been a, as leak proof as I would have liked it so it could have been my own fault had I just replaced like I did here instead of nibble away at this 
Um, it would have saved me doing this again, wouldn't it? Now settled and showered, it was time to pay a visit to the Black Canyon. The first lookout at Tomichi Point was interesting, but the view from Gunnison Point was a lot more dramatic. Most of the canyon is dark, mysterious, and hidden in shadows. Rock Point is a good lookout site to see how vast the canyon really is. If you've seen my other videos, chances are you know I tend to wander off the official trails. Perched over the narrows, the canyon vanishes into a dark void. Anyone afraid of heights might be a little nervous at this point. Well, hopefully I don't lose my balance, but this is the only way that I can show you how really deep this is. Further downstream, the streaks of pegmatite are more prominent in the metamorphized rock. On this rock face are two dragons. The perfect place for a bird to soar. For those that can appreciate the majestic views without the annoying crowds of the other famous sites, Black Canyon is a refreshing change. It's a strange bird. Well, after going into the park and looking at the campsites there, I'm a little bit surprised because you have to pay $20 admission to get into the park, and then it's $22 a night to camp there, and you're camping in low brush, you know, not really by the rim. You can't really see the rim. You're just in the low brush. Not very attractive, but Less than two miles away from the entrance is this place, which is free, which has uh, junipers or cedars and uh, pinion trees. Um, it's beautiful. Lots more shade, more space, blocks the wind. But I guess people just prefer to stay in the parks. For those not familiar, the pinyon tree is the source of one of the tastiest and expensive pine nuts in the world. Buttery with a hint of chocolate, unfortunately these had already been ravaged by insects. Watching a sunset under the shade of an old juniper was the perfect way to end this part of the trip. My next camp out was about 15 miles south of Bloomfield, New Mexico on Highway 550. Side Road 7175 takes you to Angel Peak Scenic Area.
Unlike the free dispersed camping outside of Black Canyon, this site actually has designated campsites and toilets, but still no fee. This is amazing! And I'm the only one here. There was a little rain that night, but that gave me time to edit. Yet the next morning was hot and sunny, the perfect day to explore the ridges around Angel Peak. As always, a raven lurks in the shadows. It's an interesting study of contrast between the two canyons. While Black Canyon is dark and mysterious, full of dragons and devils, Angel Peak is bright, soft and inviting. Yet at sunset, it opens up like a peacock.
with a bright moon high in the sky, the angel and the heavens shimmered throughout the night. I hope you enjoyed this video and will check out my other adventures as well. Please subscribe.